Let me show you the yellow. Yeah, there's urine in there. We had a puppy with an upset tummy, some dog poo, and so we're gonna use some odor oxy to start our treatment first. That's it. No, the anticipation is great. It's killing us all. Okay, got it. Like an emergency call last minute, apartment, move out, move in. It's got a urine situation. Time is of the essence also. And so not enough time to really give it time for an enzyme product to work. So today, our Sager's Odor Oxy is perfect for this. And actually I'm gonna do some experimenting with it through my inline sprayer, even weaken down even more and see how it turns out. So this is Odor Oxy, pure in there at a four to one. And uh, we have some urine here from some incontinence. And uh, I'm gonna drive it in with my inline high pressure sprayer and see if we can attack that odor situation. Look at it start to foam up a little bit. So it's attacking it already. That is good. There it is starting to uh, do a little organic bubbling up. The oxy and the oxidizer starting to work. So I've got this treated again. Keep in mind, odor oxy has a mango burst sensation, so that's also attacking odor. So I've uh, got some 10 below down, and I added some of our Sagerside Lime Citron Odor Destroyer. I put that in the tree spray also, even though 10 below can help with odor elimination without using perfume. This is a, one of those get it done and the apartment complex thing. So it's a test also, see what it can do. And uh, that's in their dwelling. So that'll be the last part that I clean because that was the worst of the offenders. Smelling delicious in here right now though. All right, so let's see. like a little wand chatter on an olefin. I'm gonna flex this out really good. It blew down on a concrete, which makes it even more challenging. More challenging to get that uh, contaminant that could also leak into the concrete. And you know how concrete is, it'll just keep wicking and Giving it up later in humidity. All right, I'll address that a little more though. Yes, too. There's the initial first cleanup. Let me show you the yellow. Yeah, there's urine in there. He's bubbling it out though. <laughs> That's it. So I've also got our Sager's Deep Blue Rinse in here. That is an acidic, it's at a 4.7 pH. It's gonna help break out the urine salts too, especially on this. Has a nice scent in the bottle, hardly any scent at all when you're using again, being odor conscious for people that are odor sensitive, but it's going to help break out and complete this cleaning project. All right, final passes. All right, let's leave that there and let's go take it for the team. Nose down, let's see what she smells like. Top notch. Odor Oxy, home run. I uh, did a fantastic job. The 10 below help. I did a little side. You know, I'm kind of in that hurry. I've got to, and a lot of cleaners will get in that position. So there's one of the reasons Odor Oxy was uh, produced and invented. So hopefully it'll do the same for you, have the same awesome results. I tell you, it's a thumbs up for me right now. I'm really happy. My nose took it for the team too. So what we have today is a puppy that had an upset tummy over the weekend and we had some feces. So the Odor Oxy is really quick and effective. It's a peroxide based with our Mango Burst Odor Destroyer. Very nice scent. Low odor, but nice scent. Okay, we had a puppy with an upset tummy, some dog poo, and so we're gonna use some Odor Oxy to start our treatment first. Start consuming and digesting the organic and the stains and the odor. So we'll get that on here before we start setting up the truck mount. So we know where it's at. 
And this is gonna take away odor stain. Look at that fizz and bubble. And get this carpet looking spectacular again. And smelling much better. What a way to start your Monday morning, dog poo. Okay, we chose the Odor Oxy in this case versus our enzyme-based product because it can get us in and out faster and it'll work really good to eliminate this type of situation. All right, we're gonna try a little rinsing. We applied 10 Below also on the carpet. It can help eliminate odors as well too without the use of perfumes. So we'll rinse that out really good and keep an eye on what's going on. And oh, dang, that's uh, pretty much gone. We might miss it. Spritz is a little bit just to make sure it's gonna be good. No, the anticipation is great. It's killing us all. This is a polyester berber, so it makes it a little easier sometimes for removal. Again, sometimes concerns are wicking. But I don't think it went down deep. So again, we're just gonna maybe spritz those areas with a little bit of the odor oxy and call it a home run. Just giving a little bit of spritz over those little areas of concern, just to let it keep on working. ourselves a big job here. We got just this big room for us to take care of. It is sizable. I can't remember what the square footage was. I'd have to look. Uh, a few thousand for sure. And looks like Brady's got this little portion pre-stored. And he had his little hose. He blew a little hose there. So we're just going to switch the one off the super spinner because we don't need that today. Normal zipper should take care of this. No problem. It's a balmy zero degrees and 30 mile an hour winds, so the wind chill is pretty nice. Gotta keep the water going today if it frees up. Alright, here we go. Nothing like the zipper. Cut some job time and like a closer. Come up for this one a lot. Yeah, two bands going on it today. Make it a little bit easier on, on us. The blue scent, the lemon scented.
controller and dry it. Sections done. Bring you way back there. Yeah, how's it going? How's the weather treating you today? He's got his earbuds in. He ain't paying attention. We'll let him work. Maybe do a little time lapse of this thing. Done. All that's done. I got from where my wand's at over to that clean line there. Left to go up to that wall. And then that's it. So not too bad for two guys, two vans, and two zippers. Knock out a room this size in about two hours. It's pretty good. So I haven't been rushing or nothing, just taking my time. Brady's gonna wrap up and get that van out of the way. Get all this stuff put away so it doesn't freeze. And I'm gonna finish up this little bit next left here. it that's a wrap we started at about 9 30 and it is now 11 30 so we just did all all of that room there's the weather I don't know if you can see the snow and the wind the wind is horrendous it's horrible but no we'll be doing the rest of this building on springtime it's quite large and we're also doing all the townhouses out here which I think there's about ooh, probably about a hundred of them or more can't quite remember maple room we'll be doing this room as well not today though we'll get our van we got one van wrapped up we'll wrap up this last one here and that'll be it get yourself a zipper you won't regret it. You do. Two vans, two zippers in a room this size. And it'll be worth every penny that they'll pay themselves off. Phone room. Well, that took care of that job. Beautiful day out today. I think it's like one or two degrees out now. And 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts. As you can see, coming off the roof there. 
Till next time, we'll see you later. I think Mark's 80 degrees today and we're probably negative 20, so 100 degrees difference in weather from where we're at and where Mark's at. So, see you later. Aaron, it's going to be 80 degrees here today. We're out on our morning walk with the puppies here at Sager South yet, but everyone, thanks for checking out the channel, giving a thumbs up, a like, and a comment if you would. Oh, we're getting blown away here in Florida, but we, yes, we're in Florida. Sure appreciate you being here and hope to see you again in the next one. Luna, that, yeah, you go get them. Oh, they might have treats in there, Luna. Yeah, I think they got treats. <laughs> Hey. Do you high step and come here?